What up, YouTube? It's your boy Penny Ellis One checking in for another video. As I mentioned before, I want these circles to be perfect. So this is what we got right now. And as you can see, not so perfect. So I went and got another board. I already trimmed it down to size. But what I'm gonna use to make the perfect circle is this jig right here. I've already got it measured out. That's the pivot point. I think it's like four and it's like 4.59. So just a little over four and a half inches to make my nine inch circle. So let me mark the board up, find my center points for all three. And um, I'll bring you back. I'll show you one, then I'll time lapse the other two. So we got all prepped up. So as you can see, I already drilled the pilot hole that matches up exactly with this little pivot point. Like I said, I've already measured, but what I'll do, I like to put a line on the board as well. I've already got the two set up, but I did it right at, I think four and a half. The hole is supposed to be like nine and some change. So I'm gonna mark, line up four and a half right in the center. I should have did that before I cut the hole, but that's fine. And then we'll draw a line right there. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Four and a half in the center. Draw a line right here. So it's easier. It's easier to do it with the before you drill the pilot hole, but I've already like I said, I've already got the two set up. So I'm just marking this line as a guide when I put my bit into the wood. If y'all wanna know what, I use, what I'm using here, this jig, I'll put a link down below. I got it off Amazon. Um, it's pretty neat though. I don't have the spiral cut bit. I'm actually using the flush trim bit, but it'll work the same. I've already cut out a sample. Let me show you. I've already tested it out, so to make sure it works. So those are my, this is my test cut. So see, it's a perfect hole. Want to do that before I messed up any more wood. So we'll go ahead and insert this into the, to the deal. Now there's a window right here. So like I said, I've already got this measured, but you can see right through there. And you want to make sure the outside of your bit, the outside edge of the bit is just on that line or just inside of the line. And like I said, I've already got mine set. It's already raised up, so what I'll do is I'll turn the tool on, I'll lower the bit just a little bit. So as you can see, it's only about a quarter of an inch in. So now I'm just gonna plunge in just a little bit further down. So I'll go ahead and punch all the way through. Take the battery out when I get done because I'm scared of this thing. Cut your damn finger off. All right, let me pick you up real quick, show you what we're looking like. Okay, as you can see, that is a closest perfect you're gonna get. Got a little nib right there I can sand off. No big deal on that, you see it. But look, perfect, and it's gonna be a snug fit. Let me grab the speaker. Let me see. Let 
look at that it's actually a pretty tight fit so look at that there's no wiggle room the screws will pull it down but i gotta i'm gonna i just actually just ordered the screws i'm gonna use i'm gonna use some uh threaded insert wood wood certs or whatever quarter 20 and then i got some quarter 20 uh button head allen bolts to hold this in no that's about right so actually i should probably should get three quarter inch huh that's perfect right there but my goal was to cut the oversized holes out of the plywood and glue these two pieces together so that way that'll be a flush mount and then i was going to stain that black so let me figure out if i want to use that piece and now since i already got it it'll still be pretty flush mounted it just won't be completely it'll it'll stick out just a little bit but that i think i like that though i think i'm gonna go with that so let me finish these All right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna set the speaker here. I'm gonna try to make this beauty ring or beauty panel, double back or whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna trace this so I can measure how wide this woofer is. Should be a little over 10. So we'll just run the pencil around the outline of that. Okay. Measure. See what the size of the C is. So we're looking at ten and three quarters, right? Yeah, ten and three quarters. So that wait, wait, no, I'm measuring the wrong one. Hold on, y'all, I'm tripping. No, that's right, ten and three quarters. So the the total cutout for this panel right here is ten and three quarters. So I've already marked it up. So if I do it right, if I cut these holes out large enough, I should be able to set this on and it'll clear the woofer and give me that flush mount. It won't be flush flush because this is actually a half inch. I should have got a three quarter inch, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not buying no more wood because as you can see, <laughs> see all that scrap? I didn't screwed up a bunch. Uh, so let me, uh, let me drill these pilot holes and we'll get this one started. And we'll see if I can get this one done right. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. This wood is much softer. And three eighths, which is gonna be, let's see, that's a quarter. So it's the second line. So, oh, is that gonna be right? We're gonna try it. Five and three eighths. Wait, that's the quarter, that's the quarter, that's the eight. Got it. Let's see if we can get this right. Put a line there. And then we'll go here. Five and three eighths. Let's see if we get it right. All right, so we're at five and three eighths. Put these underneath to hold it up. See, the speaker should be able to go right through here like this and it does look at that bam so that's how it's gonna be so i'm gonna cut the other ones out all right so as you can see i got the the first hole cut out looks pretty good so my measurements are actually right on point it's got a slight little you know but that's that's okay this is just a beauty panel yep so let me uh let me cut these other two out and then if everything lines up properly i'm gonna go ahead and glue this panel right here on top of this panel we'll clamp them down i bought some extra clamps we'll glue clamp and then i got my little pin nails 
and I'll just put a couple of pin nails in there to hold it while the glue dries. Then once that's done, I'll put, put the front on the box and I'm gonna put a three quarter inch round over on the whole front of the box. So my goal is, and I'm gonna do it here in this video. It's probably gonna take me a couple of, couple of days to do it, but the, this piece of wood right here, this plywood, since it has, you can actually see the wood grain, I'm gonna get some black stain. I'm gonna stain that part black and put a satin clear on it. And then the box itself, I'm gonna put um, like rhino liner or that, that, that raptor liner, whatever you call it. So that's gonna be all black raptor liner with a, with a stain uh, plywood front panel. So let me get these other two holes cut out and see if, if everything lines up, we'll get it glued together and uh, we'll go from there. But I'm losing light, but I want to go ahead and crank the car for y'all. I know y'all, y'all ain't heard this more running like a minute. She's still running. Let me go and start it up for you. And then I'm gonna finish cutting out that front baffle. We'll get everything glued on if, if it if it turns out the way I like it. And then I'll show you the finished product. But uh, yeah, let's get a little. Might not be cold because I started this the other day. So I'll idle down in a minute or in a second. There you go. So see how quick I idle down? All right, y'all, let me get back to work. Let me finish it up. All right, so we got all three holes cut out. I don't know what happened right here, man. That damn thing be sliding. But uh, I just threw this OJO in there just to kind of try to center everything. I think it might turn out okay. Like I said, it's not snug fit, but that's okay. As long as it's kind of centered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get ready. I'm going to just try to get it as centered as I can. And I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on it tonight and clamp it and put a couple of pin nails in there. So I'll check back in with y'all in the morning. All right, y'all. So we all glued up. I cheated a little bit. Um, let me see if I can show you. This board was not square to this board on the edges. I cut it about half inch on purpose. And then I used a... Where my bit go? I used a flush trim bit let me show you real quick let's go with my router ah, I should have been prepared so I use this bit right here in the router and what it does is you see that the bearing the bearing actually let me turn it over this is how I did it so the plywood hung over about a half inch so the bearing as you see rides up along the MDF and then it'll flush trim that plywood so that way I got an exact copy because my cuts were kind of crooked so I cut it I purposely cut it big so that I can trim it with this so we all good to go we got it glued up it's set overnight I trimmed every edge as you can see it's pretty flush except for right there got a little nick but my roundover should take care of that so we good to go I'm gonna go ahead and uh prop up the box let me go ahead and get it glued and screwed <laughs> we'll get it glued and nailed together and then we'll come back and do the uh we'll do the round over all right here we go Alright, so I got it all fastened together. I'm getting pretty good with this nail gun. This is only my second time using it. First time was on the Malibu box. I only got two blowouts, or well, three. Got one right there, 
and then these two on the edge right here. So I'll just grab my little wire snippers and cut those off. So we look pretty good, man. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and round it over right now. I don't have to wait. Let me clip these edges off on these two right here, and then I'm gonna hit, hit it with the roundover bit. I'm gonna hit it with this one right here. So this is a three quarter inch roundover. Give it that nice, nice smooth look. So I'm gonna get you a close up shot while I'm doing that so you can see how it does. So we're looking good. Let me blow this sawdust off. Everybody out there losing their mind again. Buying up all of them bread and canned goods. Like they ain't got no food in the house. Look, I didn't either. <laughs> I went to go get like some sandwich meat and some chili and stuff. School's out for the next couple of days. But uh, yeah, we good. Let me blow all this stuff out. I was looking at this round though, and I'm like, man, it look kind of small. This the bit I used, and I was like, nah, I should have been bigger. Bigger than that one, I think. Let me take it out and see. I think this one's bigger, because I wanted a bigger round over. I'm going to do it again. But anyway, so I'm going to let that glue dry. Yeah, I got a, a few cracks right there, but I'll fill that in before I put the Rhino liner on there. It will go ahead and sand the whole box down. We'll get it painted. I'm waiting on my hardware to come in. It should be in tomorrow or Friday. Then I'll show y'all how I'm going to mount the woofer into the box with those threaded inserts. So, see y'all in a minute. Okay, I was right. So I just went over it again. And you can see how much bigger that one is. I think that's the three quarter. I think I was using the three eighths. So now I just got to sand everything up. Get it ready for stain. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> 